Hi everyone, quick video to show you how I use my little graphics tablet here. Now, mine's the smallest, cheapest little Wacom there is. It's only 6 inches diameter, no fancy buttons or anything like that. Just a very basic tablet <coughs> and pen. And it lives here, <coughs> excuse me, to the right of my keyboard where my mouse pad would go. And in fact, when I'm using my mouse, it is my mouse pad. I'm just browsing files or whatever and doing my thing here and it works perfectly well as a mouse pad. Don't be worried about damaging it. I've been using it this way for years, no harm at all, and it's really convenient to have it there. So I do my thing with the mouse, and then when I'm ready to do some editing in Photoshop, then I just put the mouse aside and grab the pen. Now, it works exactly like a regular pen. I use it in my right hand. My left hand is here. Um, using my normal keyboard shortcuts, choosing my tools and so forth. Now, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but at the moment I've got the mouse tip just hovering a little way above the surface. And that's moving my cursor around. If you were able to see my screen, you would see my cursor moving from side to side on my screen, or up and down. And then if I want to actually click, I just touch on the surface. And that's how it works hover above the surface to move the cursor, tap to click or tap and drag to paint. So let's say that I'm going to paint my initials DS, so I'll just choose my brush tool here, make sure I'm painting with black, and then I'll give it a bit of D point S point. You can't see my screen, but I hope that it should be fairly obvious that I've drawn a big DS there. And then I can go over here and I, don't know, I can duplicate that layer and maybe choose a different blend mode of overlay and reduce that opacity. You know, I'm just using it like I would a normal brush. A normal mouse, I should say. So that's more or less how it works. Now, even though this device replaces a mouse, it doesn't work the same way as a mouse. Now let's say with a mouse, if my cursor was in the bottom left hand corner of my screen and I wanted to get it to the top right hand corner of my screen, then I could kind of move the cursor little by little up that way until it reached the top right corner. Now the pen doesn't work that way. If I've got my cursor down in this bottom left corner of the screen, then if I lift my pen up high and bring it back down close to the top right corner of my screen, the cursor will disappear from this part of the screen and reappear up there. This area of the tablet is mapped exactly to the area of my screen. So wherever I put my mouse, that's where the cursor will appear. So that's different from what you're used to with a mouse. Now I should say at this point that you can set up your pen and tablet to behave like a mouse, that is to to move like that. When you first get a tablet, you might feel the urge to do that because that's what you're familiar with. But really, don't stick with the with the default behaviour of the pen being mapped to the whole space. A new tablet will take you a little while to get used to, a couple of days, maybe up to a couple of weeks before you feel comfortable with it. In fact, you'll go through a phase of wanting to throw the damn thing out the window or at least send it back to wherever you bought it. But really stick with it because this, holding a pen or a pencil, you've been doing that since you were a kid, right? It's the most natural thing in the world if you can just give it enough time to adapt. And you'll just love working in Photoshop with this thing, I promise. That's about all I have to tell you. Thanks for listening. Bye.